Dakota. This is Bio 225, week three. Um, today's date is 5-24-2018. In this one, it is gonna, uh, this experiment is in bacterial morphology and staining techniques. In this lab, I will be preparing bacterial smears via gram stains using pure samples from broth inoculated in the previous experiments. So here, this first one I have is the uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis. What I'm gonna do is, I have um, my inoculating loop that I will let dry. And then uh, I'm going to take my bra and to um, sterilize the lid by passing it over the flame. Then I will place my inoculating loop in the bra and collect some of the bacteria. With the bacteria I've collected, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on my, uh, transfer my bacteria from my loop to the slide. Then dispose of the inoculating loop in the bleach solution. Then with my Coulter um, broth, I'm gonna go ahead and once again sterilize the lid and recap. I'm gonna let that air dry. I'll move on to my next bacteria, which is the E. coli. Again, with the inoculating loop, let it dry. Then I will take the broth and pass it over the flame to sterilize the lid to prevent contamination. Then I will inoculate the broth. Then transfer the bacteria onto the slide. Then with my broth, I will once again sterilize the lid and recap. And dispose of the inoculating loop in the bacteria solution, or the bleach solution. <laughs> then I will take uh, my last bacteria, which is the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Take my inoculating loop and let it air dry. Then I will take my broth of this bacteria and place it over the flame to sterilize it. Then inoculate the broth. Then transfer my bacteria to the slide. Again, sterilize the lid of my broth. Recap, dispose of loop in the bleach solution. Then I'll let it air dry. So the first one that I already air dried, I'm going to heat fix it. So I'll pass these over the flame about five times. So slowly, only for a few seconds. So that's heat fixing that slide. And the second one. So heat fixing the slides um, will help through the gram, help the bacteria um, stick to the slide during the gram staining process.
then my last bacteria. Okay, so with these slides, I'm going to let them cool for about 10 minutes and then I will start my gram staining uh, steps. So that concludes until the 10 uh, minutes and then I'll proceed with the staining. Okay, so now I have let my slides all cool for about 10 minutes so that the bacteria can stick to the slides. Um, and now I will be applying the stains. Um, I will place the slide in the staining tray to perform uh, gram stains um, used in laboratories and medical settings um, called differential stains. The first stain I will be using is the crystal violet. I will add two one to two drops of the crystal violet and let it sit for 60 seconds. So it's one. I will let it sit for 60 seconds and um, with this dye uh, will will stain the uh, bacteria purple um, the stain is associated with peptoglycan all bacteria has peptoglycan in the, the wall the cell walls so that's why it will stain the bacteria purple so I have a couple more seconds And then after the 60 seconds, I will go ahead and rinse it with tap water. And it's going to run until the, um, the liquid runs clear. Okay. My next stain will be iodine. I'm going to apply... two to three drops to my slide. Okay. And then I'm going to wait 60 seconds and then once again rinse it with the water. With this dye, it's crystal, the crystal violet is a positive charged molecule and the iodine is negative. Um, charged molecule, together they will form a complex um, called the mordant, which the iodine is called the mordant. It helps the crystal violet to link to peptoglycan in gram-positive cell walls. Um, in cell walls because they have a much thicker layer of peptoglycan. So I'll let that go for about a couple more seconds. A couple more seconds and okay now I will remove this stain with the tap water as well okay my next um, uh, Stain will be the decolorizing solution. This is the third stain. Um, I will add two to three drops to the stain. With this one, it, I only put it for 30 seconds. Um, it, it's a decolorizing solution. It's a form of alcohol that helps the crystal violet and iodine wash away from the cells that aren't strongly appearing. Um, these are gram-negative cell walls that have a very thin layer of peptidoglycan. 
um, it leaves it leaves the crystal violet and iodine in gram positive cell walls which have a thicker layer of of peptidoglycan and then I will go ahead and remove that with the tap water rinse it with tap water After the decolorizing solution, gram positive cells remain the purple crystal violet dye and gram negative cells will be colorless from the solution. Then my final stain will be the saffron. I will add two to three drops. And then I will let it, I will let it sit for about um, 30 seconds. This stain is called a counter stain. Um, it's a pink color, it helps to swing it, distinguish further between the two cells, two types of cells. Um, after the safarian, the crystal violet will still, will still stay in the cell wall, the gram positive cell walls. It will be all purple, whereas the gram negative cell walls have um, have taken in the saffron stain, making them pink. So it's 30 seconds, and now I will rinse this cell, this slide. So now I will blot it dry and then I will be performing these stains to all of my um, bacteria, and then they'll be ready to view under the microscope. So that completes the second exercise of week three's lab experiments. And that is all.